Hey guys, what's up? In this session, I want to show you my approach to write an arpeggio roll. And just for the one who doesn't familiar with this term, arpeggio is a style of playing that instead of playing several notes simultaneously and creating a certain chord, it will be played one note at a time. And of course, you can set the length and the order of the notes as you, as you wish. Now, I can achieve this one by using arpeggiate or MIDI effect, but I prefer to write it manually. And I'll try to make it as simple as I can so the focus will be on supporting the other melodies and the other ideas in the project. Just before a vet, this is what I have till now. All right, you get the idea. Already choose the sound, created a simple plug in FM8 that affected a bit by velocity. Oh, and the scale is G minor, if I didn't say it yet. So it means... Now usually when you say arpeggio, you mean or you expect to get, for example, Sol minor, G minor. But I'll go with something even simpler than that. Let me show you. So those are eight bars. I'll start from four bars. 16th each note. So this one is even basic than basic, you know, G, G, and G. But I'll make it a bit different. I'll take this one. Maybe we'll take it to D. And D, it's the fifth note in the scale, so it's supposed to go well. Let's do something like this to trigger the legato. Oh, now just a note, instead of making this, uh, this sequence a bar length or exact fraction of it, take a look at, at this one. You see, it's like it's three note length. <clears throat> it's three note uh, length sequence. And it means that even though it's in the same tempo, this arpeggio will start each bar in different in, in a different note. So if we take a look, this bar starts with the, the lowest G and the other bar starts with the second G and the bar after starts with the D and it goes on and it gets reset every three bars. So you got the idea. It doesn't go as one to one with the bar. It's called polyrhythmic. And Yes, basically you get the idea. For me, it uh, makes the whole things much more interesting, but still it doesn't steal the, the, the show and the focus. So it sounds like that. Now, if I'll just duplicate it like this, it will break the, the sequence and the flow. So what I will do is something like that, or let's start in 16, eight bars length see this one here all of this It's not placed right, so I'll take all of this and do this one. Yeah, this one, this is the sequence. Okay, so the next step is to make it a bit more interesting and push the sequence out. 
And to achieve this, I will emphasize the third bit of each bar by changing the current note to the root note, but from higher octave. Let me show you what I mean. This is what we got till now. Nice. And to assimilate it even more inside the track and give it more character, I will use a bit of reverb and ping pong delay that, by the way, I already have in return tracks here. The first reverb and the second delay. It's a ping pong delay. Now the key thing for me is no need to drone it in reverb. Let me show you. So as you saw, I put some reverb, some uh, delay, and even put the uh, gatekeeper as a sidechain. Now 
Now, if I take it to the start of the session, I said two things that I will try to keep it as simple as I can and to make sure it goes along with the other things, the other roles in the project. Now, check this one, the, the arpeggio with the kick and the bass. Okay, so after our page, I made some gentle changes and applied some effects, and for me, it feels pretty good. Now I will convert it to audio, make some more changes, maybe some more automations, and basically we'll try things out to make it develop along the track.
Alrighty, so I think, yeah, I think I've got it. Let me, let me show you the final result. Uh, in the end, all things I done after, after I told you what I think I'm going to do, is just subtle changes. As you saw, I worked a bit with Serum, uh, add, added some phaser, a bit of distortion. Everything is moving slightly. The size of the reverb to give it like the squishiness and the changing, uh, changing pitch. But it's all very, very, very low in the mix, let's say. That was me with arpeggiators, let's move on.